Hello everyone, welcome to another practice session. And in this particular session, we'll discuss questions from the new topics which are asked in JNU CEB or GATB 2021. So these topics will include bioprocessing, cell culture, tissue culture, organ culture, etc. So stay tuned till the end because at the end of this video, you would understand which topics to focus and inside the topic what is the difficulty level of questions so there would be five questions 10 minutes and you would solve it and at the end of this video there would be one question that is entirely for you okay we know these are the conventional topics which are important for any examination but for this particular examination there are a few new topics such as bioinformatics bioengineering and bioprocessing, cell culture, animal tissue culture methods. So from these particular topics, you need to answer the questions and you need to understand the concepts behind all of these topics. Now if you are wondering that where to practice MCQ from, where to learn concept, one way of doing it is using Unacademy's education app. Now let me tell you there are many dedicated batch for IIT Jam 2022. It's apply, it, it applies for chemistry, physics, biotechnology, for all of that. But apart from these, there would be also dedicated batch for CAT B 2021. And there would be a MCQ sp a practice session batch where you would be only practicing MCQ for various examination. So these batches would be really useful for you if you are preparing for IIT Jam. So subscribe to an academy now. Download the app and join these courses. Okay, now let's move on to the questions. Okay, first question says identify the correct statement regarding bioprocessors. So there are four statements and we have to understand which one of these is correct or which one of them are correct. Okay, so the first statement says the upstream part of bioprocess refers to the first step in which microbes slash cells are grown. Example, bacterial cell or mammalian cell lines in a bioreactor. Then second statement says upstream processing involves all steps related to inoculum development, media development, improvement of the in inoculum, optimizing growth kinetics, all of these. And the third statement says the downstream part of bioprocess refers to the part where the cell mass from upstream process are processed to meet purity and quality requirements. And the last statement is all of these above statement are correct. Now, this particular topic might be new to you because you might not have encountered this topic in your zoology or in your uh, botany uh, majors. So, if you don't know what is bioprocess, you can quickly go to the I button and there would be a detailed overview about it. And the correct statement in this case would be the last statement. All of them are actually correct. Now, if you need justification, that particular video would really give you a quick justification and it's a quick revision of the topic as well. Okay, second question is identify the correct statement regarding bioprocesses. And here there are some new terminologies which might appear uh, to be a little bit confusing for you, but let's see. In a batch process, all nutrients are provided at the beginning of the cultivation without adding any more in the subsequent bioprocess. Second statement. One way of keeping nutrient from becoming a limiting factor is to constantly supply them during cultivation. This is called a fed batch process, which is partly an open system. Continuous bioprocess is suitable when excess of nutrients would result in inhibition of inhibition due to toxin buildup or excessive heating. So there are three important aspects like they talked about uh, batch processes. Here is something about the fed batch process and something about continuous bioprocess. So you need to know all of these concepts in order to answer or judge whether these statements are correct or not. If you want a ready reference, the link would be in the I button. So the correct statement is all of these statements are correct. Okay, what are the application of cell culture? So they ask very simple question from cell culture. So try to understand which one of these are application of cell culture, chemical toxicity test, therapy for disease, culturing embryonic cell to produce insulin and all of this above. So actually, 
if you have guessed it correctly all of these are potential applications for cell culture okay then there is another question which says plant cell cannot be preserved by cryopreservation because the chloroplast in plant cells are denaturated by super high temperature water stored in the vacuole of plant cell form ice crystals in and in the freeze thaw process plant cell differentiate rapidly under cryopreservation the biological reaction of plant cells cannot be stopped by cryopreservation now one of the biggest problem during cryopreservation is the crystal formation now if this crystal formation happens rapidly then it can damage the cell and in plant cell vacuole there are a lot of water material which can freeze into crystals and can damage the cell hence it is difficult to preserve plant cells so option b is correct then next question says name the type of culture which is prepared by inoculating directly from the tissue of an organism to the culture media primary culture secondary culture cell line transformed cell culture so what you need to know is just just the basics of these techniques so it would be a primary cell culture if you want to learn more about primary and secondary culture you can watch the video in the i button okay last question is for for you and these kind of questions are very common here there are few terms which you need to understand and on column b there is some related information about those terms you need to uh, match these following in one side you have bioplastic biotransfectants uh, bioethanol bioremediation and in column b you have a bunch of options for that now in the comment section let me know what would be the correct option according to you and at the end of the day i'll say what is the correct answer i'll reveal that so if you like this video give it a big thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you